All crew, all crew, the plane is landing. Please take positions and get ready. Good morning, girls. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah, good. We're ready for this? Yes. yes. All right, the guests are arriving. Nix, I've just learned that David Steele has a preference for Prosecco over okay. Champagne. What's our Prosecco status? Yeah, we have an ample supply good. and um, we have one pulled for the arrival. Excellent. Okay, well, that's all I've got. There Let's go. go. <laughs> ready? Woo. Woo. Okay guys, let's get this video started. Welcome to the most comprehensive charter video the internet has ever seen. My team and I have flown in for two nights on board Unbridled, a 191 foot super yacht with six cabins for 12 guests and a crew of 14 people. We have so much to show you, including the amazing accommodation, the engaging entertainment, the refreshing relaxation and the captivating cuisine. So we'd better get started by talking to the captain, Guy, who's going to tell me what he has in store for me in preparation of tomorrow, when I'll be swimming with the sharks. So Guy, somebody like me who's never been diving but wants to learn to dive, how do you go about preparing somebody when they're on charter? When they are on charter, what we do is we, we usually tr try to have the boat close to a location that would be an easy place to take people diving. Not very deep, no current, calm water. And then Catherine and Daniel that are working with me on board, they are instructors as well. And they will, take, they will get the guests ready to go on the introductory dive. So they learn the basic skills of diving in a short period of time. And then they go for a shallow dive to learn if there's something they would like to do. This is the entire scuba setup. And what we're doing here is we're using this equipment to adapt to the underwater world. Because basically we're gonna go explore an environment that is not meant to sustain human life. So we have to use a couple of tricks up our sleeve because as humans, we're not very set up for underwater. So I'm gonna take you through how the equipment works, what we're gonna do with it, and then we're gonna go and play, all right? Great. So the first thing we need to know is the whole scuba setup here is going to carry our compressed air underwater. So here we have a scuba tank which is just clean, dry, filtered, compressed air. It's actually healthier and better air than what you're breathing right now. And it's no different. It's just been filtered and compressed. So we're gonna carry that with us on our backs. And the way we do that is we wear a piece of equipment called a buoyancy compensator. And this is actually a jacket. Your arms come through here and we have a couple of clips and a waistband that fastens so that you can wear the scuba tank comfortably. It also works as a life jacket. 
push this button, oh. it inflates with air. You can relax at the surface and float. The other cool thing it does is it offsets our positive buoyancy and allows us to sink below the surface. So this is a pretty cool spacesuit for yeah. exploring the underwater world. So the red button inflates, yeah. the gray button deflates, the gray tab deflates. Right. So this is attached to you on your left hand side and this is on your right hand side, okay? okay? So over your right shoulder is the, what we call the scuba regulator. And this is your breathing supply where you're gonna, you're gonna get the air out of the tank and into your body. So you're gonna put your teeth on either side of these tabs, put your mouth, your lips over the mouthpiece, and you breathe in and out of the mouth only. Oh. That was absolutely amazing. So the cool thing about this is it's called a demand system. It's designed to give you exactly what you demand from it. So if you breathe, that's what you get. So the scuba regulator is attached to the tank, which is attached to you. To find it, your, your right hand is off to the side. You'll just sweep around behind you, and it comes over your right shoulder. Right. So again, you place it in your mouth. Yeah. Your teeth go on either side of the tab, lips here. So you breathe in and out, in and out. As you exhale through your mouth, you'll actually feel and hear your exhaled breath come out in the form of bubbles. So that bubbling noise means you're alive and that's a good <laughs> sound. <laughs> so we want more of that. So the rule here is breathe in and out of the mouth all the time. The ABCs, always breathe continuously. Right. Never hold your breath. Never hold your breath. So also on the left-hand side is another hose, and this tells us how much air we have remaining in the tank. I'll be monitoring this while we're on the dive. So right. from time to time, I'll give you a sign that just says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this. Yeah. So I'll look at it and make certain that we have enough air. But with this size tank for the dive that we're gonna go on, we have probably about an hour's worth of air at the depth that we'll be diving at. So you needn't worry about uh, consuming the air. I'll be checking that for you. Next, I'm gonna just tell you about a couple of accessory pieces of equipment. The mask, obviously we need this in order to see underwater. And it has a nose pocket so that we can have our nose enclosed in order to allow us to send air to the sinuses and out to these station right. tubes. So we'll talk a little bit more about equalization in a moment. But the mask, the way we put it on is we hold it like this and like this. Yeah. So you're gonna start by grabbing it yeah. and the strap comes over like so. You put the mask on your face yeah. and then the strap. Now we have the Cinderella situation. We yes. get to try the fins on to Amazing. see if the fin is going to fit you. And the way we're going to do this underwater is we're gonna be communicating through sign language. The first thing I'll ask is, are you okay? And if you're okay, you say, I'm okay. I'm okay. If I say, are you okay? And you say, that means you wanna go up. Oh, that's up, okay. <laughs> that's not awesome, really good, that's up. Good to know. Okay, so are you okay means, okay, yes, I'm okay. If you're not quite okay, yeah. it's this. Okay. I'm not okay. And then point to, is it my mask, my nose, my regulator, my foot? What is the thing that's not okay and we'll fix it. Other signs that I might use are breathing, breathe in, breathe out breathe in, breathe out, um, breathe through your mouth. Sometimes people are breathing through their nose yeah. and I'll say, no, nope. breathe through the mouth, yeah. okay? Um, other signs as we go along, um, this is me, this is you. This means let's get together. This means swim. And the other skills that we'll practice underwater include our buoyancy and our fin kicking but those I'll do organically as we're underwater. Because remember, communication underwater is also one of the skills yeah. that we use as divers. So um, again, the signals, okay, not okay, watch me, stop, up, down. Yeah. Um, this is a little bit. I might say, 
uh, cl clear your mask yeah. just a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, and we'll go over all of this again before we get in the water. And then when we're underwater, you'll find that the communication actually works very easily. So, yeah. and if you don't understand something, just give me the universal, I don't I get don't it. <laughs> and I'll try to figure it out. All right, any other questions? No, no, so, can't wait to get are going. Are you okay? Okay. All right, let's go diving. Let's go down. Let's go down. Diving certainly is something that you've got a lot of expertise in. Yourself personally, Catherine, Daniel, all very experienced divers. But that's not the only thing that Unbridled offers the guests, of course, is it? We have the sea -Dews, brand new sea -Dews we have on board. We have kayaks, three kayaks. One of them is a double kayak, so if you want to go, two people explore together, they can go. We also have paddle boards, sea bobs, the sea bobs are fantastic to go cruising in and out of the water. You know, it's really a great activity. And uh, of course, we, we also have the snorkel gear and we can go do beach setups. We can do, you know, pretty much anything people would like to do, even fishing if they would like to. Now tell me about um, what you have for children. I, I guess at some point in the day, children, especially little children, can get tired, they've been out, they've been playing on the water, yeah. now they're sleepy but they don't want to go to bed. Yeah. What's your solution for that? We, we have a room that we dedicate for children that is actually done in the, in the guest area. Between some of the rooms, there's an area that used to be an office space and we turned that office space into a children's area. We put down some linens, we make it so they can be themselves truly enjoy themselves and not hurt the boat in any way but at the same time they don't feel like they're being constrained by anyone telling them you can't do this you can't do that they can because it's a safe area for them to ask you, um, I noticed that there's two chefs. That's unusual. Yeah, well, on vessels this size, usually you'll have two chefs. One that is the head chef, and another one that is the sous chef, and also does the food for the crew. So we having those two people is incredible because what I like to see is they start bouncing ideas between each other, and, and they're, what they come up with is much better than if it's just one person. You know, they have the time to pay attention to the little details and they can really focus on their art of culinary. So when you have charter guests, how do you even know 
what it is that they're going to to prefer? Ah, that's a great question. Um, so normally when someone books a charter, they uh, will be given a preference sheet to fill out, what their likes are, dislikes, the big one definitely being the allergies. We gotta know what the allergies are ahead of time. And then any of the foods, really it's more about the foods to avoid, I feel, than it is about the foods that, uh, that they really want. Um, if some people fill those out very, very completely, and those are the ones that make life very easy. And some go so far as to tell us we would like to have these meals and, and explain to us what the dishes are. And some people just say, oh, we like whatever, but then they show up and maybe whatever isn't what they like, and I like to interview them once they come on board. What do you do when that happens? If somebody says, oh, I really hoped that the beef was going to be Wagyu beef, for example. Oh, uh, if we don't have it, then we will do anything that we can to get it brought in. Even if that means we have to call a contact in Asia and have it flown to the Bahamas, we can get Wagyu here within 24, 36 hours. Is that right? Anywhere in the world, we can pretty much get something sourced here within 24 to 36 hours. If they need caviar from Russia, we can get caviar from Russia. If they need Iberico ham from Spain, we're getting Iberico ham from Spain. If it's truffles that they need, we've got a guy in France that he can call up and we'll get truffles here within 24 to 36 hours, no problem. And, and conversely, do you just get sometimes asked to make like a, a an egg salad sandwich or something? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, like anything from just a simple BLT to a smashed avocado on toast, you know, a scrambled egg, all the normal favorites. I and mean, then like a lot of people like takes mix and like buffet style like dishes that you can put out. So I know you've been working on our dinner. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> Who's going to tell me what we're eating this evening? So tonight we're going to be having a grilled Wagyu strip loin served with a mushroom demi-glace. We have a potato gratin and we have charred broccolini. For me personally, coming from an artistic background, I like things to be presented in an artistic kind of way, you know, and also working with mostly gourmet style foods when you're plating up, um, it's at the end of the day we eat with our eyes, so it's very important that the plate, that the food we're serving looks appetizing. So what you're going to have for dessert tonight is a dark chocolate mousse, um, which I have ready to pipe into these martini glasses and then we're going to put them in the fridge to chill for two hours before your dinner is served and would you like me to show you? I would love you to show them. So we're just basically going to use the piping bag and just piping the mousse gently all around so that we keep that texture and then that will be going straight into the fridge. worked up such an appetite today and ending the day talking to the chef like that has made me just about ready for dinner. So what I'm going to do is freshen up, put on some fresh clothes and make my way to the upper deck for pre-dinner cocktails and to see what the chefs have in store for us.
there's something about eating on a yacht that is very special indeed. And it's not just because Unbridled always has the finest of chefs for their guests. Although that does help, of course. It's more a combination of the incredibly peaceful atmosphere of a beautiful evening in the Bahamas with fine food, great company, and just the lapping of the waves as a melodic background. It's just magic. And you know one thing that's even better than eating on a yacht? Sleeping on a yacht, especially after a full day of activities like the one that I enjoyed today. <laughs> ah. How amazing is this? Thank you very much. When I was offered the opportunity of filming a video about charter on board Unbridled, I said, that's great, I need a break. I can take a kip on one of the sun lounges, a dip in the jacuzzi, ask for a cocktail from the bar. But let's face it, that would not make for a particularly engaging video, would it? So Captain Gee said, I've got a good idea. We'll teach you to dive and then we'll take you diving with the sharks. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Absolutely, would do it again. <laughs> it was great. We had sharks all around us. Just beautiful, beautiful sharks just swimming oh. all around us. <laughs> you know what? They use the word awesome far too often in America. That was awesome. That was awesome. 
inspiring. That is the greatest way, not just to enjoy the ocean, but to appreciate the ocean. And when you have experienced and knowledgeable people like Catherine and Guy to help you, there can be nothing like a charter on Unbridled to really enjoy what the ocean's all about. And while you have knowledgeable and experienced people in the ocean helping you, there are more knowledgeable and experienced people on the sun deck preparing refreshments for us. The sharks are just beautiful creatures. They just swimming around. They leave you alone. And that's that's swimming with sharks. That's not gawping at sharks in a tank. That's swimming like they're swimming this way, so you swim along with them. And as you're swimming along with them, you're looking at them and they just that's cool. they are oh, Max Slav. Guys, <laughs> you've got to do it. <laughs> it's amazing. After an exciting morning of diving that I shall never forget, I did indeed get to relax on the forward sun pad of Unbridled Sun Deck and even have a dip in the jacuzzi and order a mocktail. There is so much to enjoy on this yacht and my trusty camera crew too enjoyed some of the wonderful facilities on board as Slava worked out on the sun deck gym equipment. Oi, get back to it! and Max inspected the yacht's impressive wine collection. And after a wonderful visit in which we sampled what is surely one of the greatest vacations that money can buy, there was only one way to end the day. One of the most fascinating things about Yacht Charter for me is the way that a beautifully appointed super yacht can combine with a talented and experienced crew to create experiences that are totally unique and unforgettable. If you want to have an afternoon massage, that can be arranged. You want to do yoga on the sun deck? You want to go to the beach for a barbecue? This crew loves being challenged to do something that will make you feel more than special, so that when you do leave the yacht, you feel totally reinvigorated. Some would say, we go. Thank you.